The new Egoist League is the second phase of the Bullock project, where the top five countries where football thrives have been replicated in each stratum of the Bullock building. With a soon to begin PXG vs Bastion München match, as well as several requests, I think it's time that I make a What if Itoshi Lin went to Manchester City video. Now I like to say this before all of my videos, but if you have a video request that you'd like to see get made, leave it down in the comment section below, as my new year's resolution was to make more of your requested content. So if you want your idea to be made into a video, leave me in the comment down below and it'll most likely get made. Also, before we begin, spoilers for the Blue Lock manga, and if you are not caught up to chapter 246 of the manga, click off this video now because there will be spoilers. To begin, I believe we should look at what Itoshi Lin can do before we can even say how he would progress at Manchen City. Lin has two main styles of play that we've seen during matches. The first is called Puppet Master, which is a style that revolves around the manipulation of players on the pitch that leads to his own benefit. This manipulation of players does not simply extend to allies, but also enemies, seen in the second selection match against Isagi's team. The other style is called destructive, a style revolving around the extortion of the opponent's weapon and the use of it against them to crush them entirely. We see this style be used against the U20 team, using Neru's speed, Dorai's off the ball movements, and Yue's core strength against each of the defenders respectively, completely defeating them with very little difficulty. Now Lin's primary skill is his perfect kicking accuracy, which allows him to hit insane spin shots, travella shots, line drive shots, and many many more. He also possesses almost identical weapons to Isagi, such as spatial awareness and off the ball movements. With this, I think we can easily determine how he will develop at Manchan City. So how would he develop? Well, let's start by looking at Manchan City's philosophy and Chris Prince as a master. Chris Prince is a person who, through Manchan's philosophy, believes that the only way to achieve the perfect version of yourself is through strict training that maximizes your God-given talents. He's very welcoming and friendly to any and all players who come to Manchan City, and assuming Rune did as well, he wouldn't hold any expectations or prejudice towards him due to his lineage as the genius midfielder's brother. Prince's incredible knowledge for muscular development would allow for him to give Lin the perfect curriculum to achieve the body that Lin can envision as the best for his goals. Now like every other player at Manchester City, he would most likely ask Lin what would the ideal Itoshi Lin envision himself to be like, and due to his very obvious answer to Nagi at the end of the Manchester City vs PXG match, he'd obviously say that he wants to defeat Itoshi Sai and Isagi. Given this, Prince would have to create a training regimen that allows for him to surpass that of a new Gen 11 player, which while difficult, I do have an idea as to what skills Lin would learn in order to reach that goal. The first would obviously be Metavision. Metavision is a skill involved with using your peripheral vision, central vision, and head rotation to input as much information as possible. Now, Izugi uses this weapon more as a link-up weapon, used with Corona and Hiori as of lately. However, Lin would combine this with his Puppet Master Soccer to link up with players like Nagi and Leo and manipulate them. Lin has always had equal to or better vision than Izugi in every instance in the series, first shown in the second selection 3v3 match, where Lin exploited Isagi's vision to defeat him. So considering Isagi has metavision, it's very likely that Lin will have it as well. The second weapon would be increased ball rotation provided by more powerful kicks. One weakness we saw during the U20 match when compared to Sai is that Sai's kicks are way tighter with much more spin than Lin's. With Manchan's training, Leo was able to replicate Lin's Travella shot, so it's likely that after training himself, he would be able to make shots with increased spin, especially since he was so close to scoring with it during the U20 match. And the last skill is called Stealth Shooting. Similarly to Baro, Lin would use the bodies of allies or enemies as shields and fire shots from behind them, causing a delay in how soon they could react, allowing for him to score goals. He's already done something like this before in the third selection against Karasu and Atoya, and with this increased power and spin of his shots, he has a much better chance of scoring if he's able to create a temporary blind spot just like Bado can. Keep in mind though, stealth shooting and predator eye are very different. Stealth kill shot, what Bado uses when he scored Langagamaru, isn't simply predator eye, as predator eye is a vision style that specializes in timing. It has no relation to the shot zone crowding that he did against Bastard München. So while Lin would have the shot zone crowding aspect of stealth kill shot like Bado does, he would not have the predator eye to perfect the timing at least in this scenario. But given these new skills, what position will this newly evolved Itoshi Lin play? Well, obviously he would be playing center forward, swapping Agi out of the game. This would be very important for several reasons. The main reason being his new advanced Puppet Master style that would utilize both Nagi and Leo's abilities. Leo is no idiot when it comes to Lin's skills and has shown no distaste for the player, so it's pretty clear that he would receive passes from Leo in many situations. And with Nagi, without Agi on the pitch 
to influence Nagi to be more independent and creative, he'd ultimately fall victim to this new puppet master style. Berlin would be able to set up plays with Leo, sending him passes using his side copy mode, and then create plays like this with Nagi, just instead of Isagi here, it would be Lin. When it comes to Chigiri, however, it's unlikely that he would succumb to this new Puppet Master style, as his 44 Golden Zone formula is all about being able to score goals on his own without passing. However, in situations where he gets blocked, he would most likely pass as he has done it before. So with this conclusion, going to Manchin City, Itoshi Lin would unlock Metavision, Stealth Shooting, more powerful Spin Kicks, and an advanced Puppet Master style. He would also be able to form easy chemical reactions with Leo and Nagi, and possibly Chigiri, resulting in Lin at the figurehead for each of these goals. But like I always do at the end of every one of these videos, if Itoshi Lin went to Manchin City, would he be a better player than in the main storyline? Well, truthfully, we can't say. As of my writing, we have yet to see the full development of Itoshi Lin at PXG, so it's inconclusive to see if he will be superior at either stratum. However, my prediction is that they would be about equal in terms of skill, as Chris Prince's training would help Lean achieve the body that's perfect to defeat Isagi and Sai, and with how the story will most likely go, Lean will be an incredibly good player at PXG. One thing I would also like to say is that if Lean did go to Manchan City, I think we can all agree that they would not lose a single game and would easily defeat all of the other stratums in the new Egoist League. But that's just me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want more, leave me a comment down below with your requests. And for the question of the video, what vision style would you want to have in real life? Metavision or Predator Eye? Leave me your thoughts down below. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for more content just like this.